let's go to Daniel. Daniel 12. Okay. And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince, which standeth for the children of thy people. And there shall be a time of trouble, such as never was, since there was a nation, and even unto that same time. And thy people shall be delivered. Now, I want to show you all something. Look at this. So in Daniel 12, when it mentions the time of trouble, which is the great tribula tribulation, I want to show you what it says. Look at the word trouble. It says, Titus, figuratively, trouble, transitively, a female rival, affliction, tribulation. Okay, so right there, the time of the tribulation is the time of the female rival. Now watch this. I'm going to show you empirical, mind-destroying, blow-your-mind data associated with that scripture right now because of a supernatural spiritual gift. This is so important that you understand that the gift the Lord gave me, the gift of sight, I'm able to give to you the gift of sight. The Lord has allowed me the ability to see way beyond what you're able to see without a supernatural influence. Now, that influence is making clear and manifest to your eyes and to your mind that which is hidden. So the Bible says, whatever makes manifest is light. Jesus is the light of the world. So the light of the world, Jesus, which is the light of the world working through me, is making clear or obvious, manifest to your minds and to your eyes that which has been concealed, which is what the enemy does. The enemy conceals the truth. Now watch. There shall be a time of trouble. That's the great tribulation. Even the word trouble has the word tri tribulation in it. But the first... The first declination of the word is female rival. Now watch this. Let me show you. The video that I just put up where I'm showing you guys our lovely tour guide. You know what? <laughs> Hang on. Let me, let me pull up this folder instead. I'd rather make the point with the folder. Watch. Okay. I'm going to pull up that this is the end folder where I've documented all this information, which is more valuable than all the money in the world, this cannot be bought. What you're seeing right now is priceless. So I'm going to click on what the Lord showed me on the altar. I'm going to click on this one. Here we go. Okay, there you go. Now watch. So here is an image of the female rival. So here she is. There's her eye, her eye, and her mouth. Right here is the face of a female. I'm, I'll enlarge it. This is the face of a female, the eye, the eye, and the mouth, like she's wearing a bonnet. But look at what she is. Her face is superimposed over a locust. Here's a locust eye. Sorry, let me go back. Here's the locust eye, eye, and the faceplate of the mouth and the antenna. Let me show that to you a little more clearly. Now, I want you to think about what you're seeing. Female rival. Now, watch. There's your female rival. And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people, there shall be a time of trouble, a female rival. Now watch this. Ever since there was a nation. Look at the word nation right here. Now, what you're seeing is so beyond the pale to get to see this. This changes the world. Watch. 1471. A flight of locusts in the sense of massing. So the word nation in the sense of massing a foreign nation or flight of locusts. So the word trouble means female rival. Nation means flight of locusts in the definitions. There's the female rival. There it is right there. There she is. She's wearing like this bonnet that's also the dragon. Now just watch. her. The female rival. Now I just color that in. And there's your locus. So I just showed you the female rival when I didn't, you know, when I had this part colored in pink and you were able to see the eyes and the mouth. But I just went ahead and, and showed you the way they do things. They cast shifting shadows. That's why the book of James. Now I'm going to watch the Bible is going to come alive. Watch every good and perfect gift comes from above from the creator of heavenly lights. Not like them who cast shifting shadows. So all I'm doing is showing you the way they make the shadows change the imagery that's on their altar what is that thing on the corner of the altar well it's a dragon well the dragon is satan 
Oh, and it turns into a woman. Oh, the female rival. That was the trick to get God's angels uh, offering God's angels host bodies and to have sex. No, no. big. That's the no, no. The forbidden fruit. Here you go. Here's your locust. There's the eye. There's the eye. There's the antenna. So see, the female rival is a locust. Well, let's watch the Bible come alive now. At that time shall Michael stand up. At what time? The end of the world. The great prince which standeth for the children of thy people. There shall be a time of trouble, such as never was since there was a nation, even until that same time. And at that time, thy people shall be delivered. Everyone that is found written in the book. Now watch. And at that time, the time of trouble, affliction, female rival, nation, flight of locusts. Okay, how is it possible that I'm showing you a locust right here that's on the altar and that same locust is the female rival? Because it's one of the most supernatural things you'll ever see in your life. There's the female rival that's in charge of the locusts that are coming out of the pit because that is the energy source that birthed all of them, every one of them. She is the, she's the opponent of the Lord God, Satan, the dragon, the female rival. You see, the Bible just came alive. I mean, really alive. You know, these people that are in churches that claim to be pastors are a joke. I'm just beyond disgusted with them. So anyway, here we go. That's a dragon. This whole thing is also a dragon with its mouth open. If you look at these red X's, which is, you know, X and X. Uh, oh, wow. Look what that switched to. Here's another picture of a dragon. That's the Sistine Chapel. See the dragon? There's the eye of the dragon, eye of the dragon, nose of the dragon, open mouth. Okay, so... I am literally showing you the evil one's lair. I mean, this is, they claim to be Christians, but they worship the dragon and the female rival and locusts and dead sheep, angels melting into semen. Like, what the hell is going on here? It's like, well, what does the Bible say? In the end, everything secret will be made public. Here, watch. So in Luke eight seventeen, for nothing is secret that shall not be made manifest, neither anything hid that shall not be known or come abroad. Okay, so what do you what do you think this is? I mean, <laughs> this is the manifestation of that scripture. I the Lord is allowing me to manifest his ability his his sight. What the Bible says, whatever makes manifest is light. Okay, so the word manifest means clear or obvious to the mind or to the eyes. Okay, so if people call me a false prophet, then they're saying something else is making this clear or obvious to the mind or to the eye. That's a dragon, folks. That's the face of a dragon. That's the Sistine Chapel. That's all a dragon's face. So what made that manifest? This is a dragon with its mouth open. Those are the eyes, eye of the dragon, eye of the dragon, nostril of the dragon, nostril, open mouth. So the whole thing is the dragon. The whole thing is the queen of heaven. And the whole darn thing is locusts from the pit. Okay, so in one little corner, uh, on, on, on each corner of that canopy, the Lord just made the Bible come alive for you. So this is the real war. This This is not the... The puppet show that's going on all around every, oh, I don't know what's going on. Is Biden president? Is Trump? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. I mean, all that stuff is a puppet show. What matters is this. If I'm showing you locusts and the queen of heaven, what do you suppose might be happening soon? I mean, if I'm showing you an actual, I'm showing you actual empirical evidence of Daniel 12, right in front of your face. And, and sorry, I don't mean to, <laughs> I'm not talking to y'all like, oh, I'm mad at you. I'm just like, yeah, hello. <laughs> Do y'all understand how serious this is? This is? This is the revelation of the end of the world. This is the revelation of Jesus Christ. This is what it all is about. This is what life's all about. This is what the world was really all about. This is the big secret of the world. Don't let anybody know the big secret. 
It's the angel killing fields is what it is. Angels that got trapped. They took the bait. That's why there's a clothing line called Hunt for Hunted. Hunted for dinner. And the name of the shoes that YG makes are bait. They're called bait. Okay, so uh, a rapper named YG. A rapper named YG. He serves the enemy. He serves whatever this all is. What's it say on the back of the shoes? Lost angels. What's it say on the tongue? You know, like what's the part of your mouth that speaks the tongue? F you pay me. So you see, you got a pair of shoes to walk around in. So this is literally Satan saying, F you pay me. The name of the shoes are called bait. Watch. See bait right there. Bait. Bait. Sorry, watch. Bait. Reebok Classic Nylon. Isn't that funny? They're, they put nylon. 400. No line. Look. Remember that I told you what the Lord, the night I got saved, he said, read the tags into the clothes you're carrying. It said 100% nylon. Then the Lord told me, turn it upside down. 100% no line. N-O-L-Y-N. Look at YG, 400, hunted for Denna, D-I-N-N-U-H, hunted, hunted for Denna. Do you get it? <laughs> Lost angels, F you pay me. Now let's watch the Bible come alive again. You ready? Let's watch the Bible just come alive. So if the, if the enemy is saying, hey, F you pay me, which they are, why does it say it on the pair of uh, a pair of sneakers, a pair of tennis shoes? Well, see Exodus 20. Thou shalt not make unto thyself any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in the heaven above the earth beneath or the water that is under the earth. Now look at this. You see the word like thou shalt not make. Also to do or to make. It's the exact same word as Genesis 1. Let us make man in our image. It's the exact same word. Thou shalt not make any graven image, look at this, idol, or any likeness. Look at the word likeness. Something portion that is fashioned out as a shape, a phantom, or specifically embodiment. Okay, so why is YG, why is YG got tinnies that say, uh, if you pay me? Well, because that's Satan saying, hey, I gave you your embodiment. You got your tennis shoes to walk around in. And you, uh, you took the bait. You wanted a host body. So that's why there's tennis shoes called bait. F you pay me. So you see the Bible just coming to life. I mean, this is the real, this is the real understanding of the word. I mean, this, this, the Lord's allowed this ministry to come with power and revelation. I'm just saying all glory to the Lord God. He's just allowed me to participate. And, and, and I am so not worthy to, to get to do any of this. But he's been merciful to me. And the Bible says, Jesus said, Peter, who would love his servant more or his master more? He who was forgiven little or he who was forgiven much? And Peter answered and said, he who was forgiven much. My bill was so big that I knew it. I knew how big my bill was. And so I cried out. I was like, I, nothing makes sense anymore this this whole thing sucks so he led me to the truth and now i'm doing my best to be a good servant and and uh with the gravity of the information that i have to try and never let the enemy get me down to a point to where i just feel like quitting again because i'll tell you what i've tried to quit three times three times just like jonah <laughs>